Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial session on Python programming for biologists. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate and process your sequences using the list data type. On the screen is a brief description of what the list data type is. Okay, so it's a linear collection of items and the list can be created by putting the items in a square bracket and individual items are separated by comma. Okay, list can contain different data types as including the list object itself. And then the items, just like strings, are assessed using indexing. Okay, list is mutable, meaning that the contents can be changed. New items are added to the end of the till. Nitrations can be performed on lists. Iterations, there will be a separate video on iterations later on. If all the items are strings, then the entire list can be converted to a single strange object. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let the coding begin. So, we will first begin with creating a list. So, how do we create a list? We create a list by putting the square brackets and then placing your items in it. Let's say A. If there's another item, you add it, we separate those two words, comma. So there's a list. Okay. Right. Now we can also create an empty list. And to create an empty list, what we do is so just say, we just create the square brackets and that becomes an empty list. Now, the list we created in the first step contained individual nucleotides, but can also create a list with subsequences. So let's say subsequences. Let's say T T A J C T A A A. So this a subsequence. Okay, so that's also a list. Now, aside using the square brackets to create a list, we can also create a list from a string. So if let's say you had a string, which was let's say A, G, T, C, A, then we can transform this string to a list. by saying that this is string to lists will be hot lists strange this is how we convert it to convert the string to a list so if you should print it here's what we are going to get a list so this is how we create a we convert a string to a list. Now aside that we can also count the individual elements of a list. Okay, and to do the list, we want to find the number of elements in a the list. Then we can say len my list. Okay, and if you do that, we have what four. Okay, let's just say length. Okay, so we can just assign it to a variable and then print that variable as well. Okay, so that gives us four. Now, 
aside and we can also add new elements to a list okay so if you want to add new elements to a list then what we do with that we just call that list which you want to add the new element and then we say dot append and then we add a new element so let's just say we are adding a new one let's say gt and so once we add it we can print it with the addition you don't need to assign to a variable you can just do it straight away so if you should print it you will realize that we have the new elements added now let's look at indexing now let's say you want to find the first member of the lists then what we do we say my list just as we did in strings then you get the answer okay you can also say my list first member to the third member and this is how we do it and we get those elements there now with lists we can also sort the elements either alphabetical order or in terms of um, numbers okay from least to highest so to sort an element we can say my list dot sort note if you are sorting then the original list object also changes okay now this is what happens so if you sort and you print okay this is what happens note that with the initial one we had a t c g g t and now we have a c g g t t okay so that is how it is sorted okay now aside the sorting you can also reverse the list okay so if you want to reverse it you can say my list dot reverse okay and then once you print it you realize that it has been reversed okay now we are going to go into details with this one and use it to do the reverse of a sequence that will be another video but these are ways that you use to manipulate sequences um, to simulate biological activities we'll go into that now we can also do insertion and deletion okay if let's say we had this list let's say we had a list okay which was this and now we want to insert we want to insert maybe this this codon into the first position okay now if you want to do that then it will have to be my list dot insert and then in the insertion what do you do you indicate the position first and then you indicate the value you want to insert with okay so now after you've done this when you print the list again you realize that it has been added now we add, we made it twice okay and that is why we have this and this happening now can you guess what biological process we just did and that's in session okay now we can also delete items from a list okay 
if you want to delete items from a list there are many ways to go about it and we'll just use all the approaches here and so if let's say you want to delete TTA or let's say you want to delete GT or you want to delete the item from the first position then what we do is as we do del my lists okay so if you print it again you realize that that first tt has gone because that was the position zero okay that's how we do it let's delete again item in second position so second position mean what's what the t and so to delete it to be hot there my list one so now if you print it you realize it's gone okay so that's deletion okay now you can also delete using the, the act, act, actual item name Okay, Okay. so the item itself, if let's say you wanted to delete, let's say delete, what, GT. Then we could say, my list dot remove, GT. Now notice, that if you have several of the GTs, it's only the first occurrence that is going to be deleted. Okay, so now we delete it. If we print it, we have it also gone. Okay, that is how the deletion is done. Now, if let's say you want to change an item, okay, let's say we wanted to change. Let's say the TTA, we wanted to change it to, let's say, JNT. Okay. For that one, you need to first make sure you know the position or the index of the value you want to change. And then you use that um, for the changes. So to change, since we know it has the index of zero, we will say my list zero is equals to JNT. So now when you print or display the my the my list objects, you will realize that has been changed here. Okay, so that is how the lists is used to do some of these processes. Now the last thing to do is to what convert a list to a string. If you want to convert a list to a string. The first condition is that all the items in the list should be strange characters. And so this particular one, we have all of them to be strange characters. So we can do the conversion. So to convert list to strange, we say, let's assign it to a new variable, list to strange. Then what we do is to what? First, indicates a string what you are going to use to join at the moment we are going to just make it blank so we indicate your double quotes and then you say dot join and then you indicate your parentheses and then you specify the list objects in this case my list so now when you print it it's done this is how the list is converted to strange okay and i repeat again it can only be done if all the items in the list objects are strange okay so you can try and then make sure one of them is not a strange and you realize that there will be an error message okay so this is what i have for you in terms of using the list objects 
to process and manipulate your sequences in Python. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next session. Bye-bye.